Hello there, and welcome to the first episode of Chainmail Bikini. My name is Jen, and I'm going to be your host here. I am on Twitter under the name Trickster with an X, like the old 80s band. Uh, sometimes my account gets mistaken for them. Uh, I am going to be taking you all on a tour of assorted free-to-play MMOs of varying sketchiness. Uh, what I would really like to do is uh, take some of the games that you see on your occasional batter banner ads on better gaming sites and take a look into whether they are actually any good, whether they're actually hilarious or, you know, just have no redeeming qualities whatsoever. Uh, for my premiere episode, I am going to take you all through a game called Scarlet Blade. Now, Scarlet Blade is somewhat notorious for being a an MMO with only female characters, but not the sort of female characters that actually appeal to most female players, as we'll see in just a moment. Now, behind our server select screen here, and you can see they have a whopping single server, and I suspect this is not like how EVE Online has a single server. Their population is normal, whatever that means. Behind the server select screen, you get a very nice picture of a woman masturbating on a mech, which really goes over well on certain parts of Tumblr. Uh, and let's see, over here you have, well, you choose your fate. You must choose one of two paths, neither of which really, yeah. So you've got the Royal Guards, Royal Guard Arcana, oh look, look at them being clever, share the same sense of honor, duty, and loyalty that is associated with their commanders, whoever they are. They embrace their purpose as living weapons, honing their talents to become the ultimate protectors of humanity's return. Okay, and we have the Free Knights. Free Knight Arcana embody the rebellious, independent spirit of their faction, always attempting to outdo each other in strength and skill. Their commanders strongly encourage this competitive streak, with some even promising the Arcana their freedom after the war. Well, that looks interesting. Let's take a look at what the Royal Guards have to offer first, with their whole sort of paladin look. Let's see, it's kind of hard to see with the dark blue and the gray, but this is Defender. She smashes through the enemy lines with her deadly blade, a true survivor that will do anything to protect her allies. She's got some kind of cute little skirty thing going on here, and it and there's there's a little chance of a wardrobe malfunction there, but nothing too terrible. Uh, sadly, it won't let me click to turn her at this stage, but let's see what else we've got first. Shadow Walker. Oh, thank you, This narrator. stealthy killer prowls the shadows and strikes with more devastating melee attacks than any of her sisters. That's not, that's not what the text says, lady. I actually kind of like this one. Uh, well, okay, she's kind of bouncy there. Now, I will acknowledge that I am, as, as a narrator here, I am at a sort of interesting intersection of uh, being a lesbian, which means that I both like to look at women but also understand what it's like to be one. Also, I'm just really a sucker for anything that's that sort of gray and blue and black, so uh, we may come back to her. Let's see what's next. Whipper, a powerful melee <coughs> fighter with excellent range. Okay. This arcana specializes in brutal AoE skills that chew through packs of foes. So, uh, so she's just wearing ribbons for, uh, for a top there that, that uh... That doesn't seem very stable. Uh, she has some ridiculous looking high heels as far as I could tell. Uh, she is... I guess she's a whipper. Punisher. A ranged destroyer. She specializes in blasting away multiple enemies at once. From a safe and elegant distance. She's, she's gonna have to stay at a distance so her tits don't fall out of that. That's uh that that's some that's some creative costuming going on there. Let's see what else we got. Sentinel. Quick as lightning and deceptively non-threatening by design. 
Most enemies won't know what hit them until it's too late. Oh, hello, Petobait. How you doing? She's, uh, I mean, she's adorable. She would be great for anything else. I don't know, like, she looks a lot like a like a newer Final Fantasy character, actually, which I, I can't fault too much, except that all these characters are supposed to be sexy, and that's just filthy and wrong. Moving on. Medic, the only Arcana with a healer's touch. But this battle adult. angel shoulders the responsibility for the lives of her entire party. So this would actually be... I, I like the little glow going on here. I like the shoulders and the little wings. It's just... No, that's that's not holding up in any situation. However, I, I will give them credit that unlike a lot of these, this actually looks like she may have some areola showing there where she should, because one of the things that's completely ridiculous with these is where they sort of play up the anatomy while also completely glossing over the anatomy. So, uh, she needs to put on a real top, but that's actually not too bad. What do we got here now? Cyberblade. What? A recent innovation in arc science. Cyberblade to the first male arcana. Oh they my god, boast it's powerful dude. chakra buffs and extreme mobility, making them experts in fast-paced combat. It's a token male. Like, is he just supposed to be for, you know, just so all the cybering that presumably goes on incessantly in this game... Some of it can have a male involved, or is he for the, the gay male players, which is fine and all, or are they trying to get some women to play this? I I don't I don't know who his target audience is. Doesn't look bad though. Let's go back a step then. And let's take a look at the characters available to us as a free knight. That's exactly the same character. This Shadow is Walker. Also, the this exact stealthy same killer prowl. Whipper, a powerful melee fighter with Punisher, a ranged destroyer. Sentinel, quick as lightning and deceptively non threat. Medic, the only Arcana with a healer's touch. Cyberblade, a recent innovation in arc science. Cyberblade to the first male Arcana. They boast powerful chakra buffs and extreme mobility, making them experts in fast paced combat. So, uh. Those are all exactly the same. Well, Shadow Walker. This stealthy killer prowls the shadows and strikes with more devastating melee attacks than any of her sisters. I guess we'll just go back to my default gray and black with glowing blue highlights here. Let's see what happens if you actually select her. Do we have, like, customization? Oh, we do have some limited customization. Okay, I see limited. It's actually... I mean, it's not too far off from a lot of MMOs. I mean, it's not Guild Wars 2 level customization here, but it's not bad. I'm surprised there's not an option here that's just tits, but I suppose uh, there are no body options because they assume you, you just want the one. So, oh, yep, we can sort of spin her around a little bit here. And down, I guess. Let's take a look. Blue hair is good. I I can go for Whoa, she's got some Google Glass thing going. That one's kinda cute. I think I like Oh look, you can go with the skunk hair. I think I'll go with the skunk hair. So you've got some few a few basic face options. All of which have that sort of, you know, it's it's a basic anime look. Ooh, so even with the skunk hair, she can have Google Glass. Uh, I'm just gonna choose... Let's just go with this one for now. Move on. good. Lips, you can give her different lipstick color. Aw oh, man, going all like cyberpunk here with the blue lipstick. It's heavy stuff, man. Actually, now I want to go... 
we go. Something with a little less obviously colored eyeliner. Oh, and we have various hairstyles you can give her, even after choosing the hair color. Oh, I see. This is just sort of... Okay, that's a pre-built face and hair, but then you can also go down and choose those individually, so I guess that gives you a nice quick start. Still, I kind of like that. Uh, wow, okay, so this... This is actually some pretty significant variations you can get here. Oh, but I think I'm going to stick with that one. Let's take a look at our clothing. <laughs> Let's take a look at our clothing options. There's A. That's interesting. It's got uh, breast bullseyes there. I'll show lingerie. Ah, there's her anatomy actually showing. I may have to uh, make this video 18 and up at this point. That one eh, covers things. I'll stick with this, though, because I really like that outfit. Let's... I don't know. I guess my normal handle is probably taken. Yeah. I'm going to be that obnoxious person. We're not exactly on an RP server here. So, uh... Oh, okay. They'll never see me come. So I suppose we could, or without even... ...ging in. Oh, and here we get... Okay, I, uh... <laughs> that's, that's kind of adorable, huh? She's got the little glasses, but then... You know, massive underboo. So let's see. Greetings, little Miss Lovely. Okay. I'm your sysadmin, Errol. Do you know what a sysadmin is, people? My job is to give you and your commander the technical info you need to survive. So listen up. All right, that's <laughs> tatas for now. I would say that that was probably a bad localization, but it's tatas. Alright, so let's take a look. Okay, so uh, we're we're wearing underwear. I got a skull by my name for reasons. Uh, I got a quest alert though, so let's take a look. Yep, sorry, but I am going to read the quest text because I am that kind of lady. Maybe if you're lucky eventually, I'll start narrating the quest text. Okay, so we're talking to... Oh, that's kind of cute how it's pixelated. So the mouse is, is turning into sort of a... I mean, I guess if it were upside down, it would be more of a gropey, gropey Greetings. icon. I am a sub-AI for Mother who helps manage the ARC project. Uh, okay. Oh no! There's trouble, says... Oh my god, okay, moving on. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the world of adult MMOs. <laughs> Qualities that the Arcana are biologically inclined to notice. Whatever that means. must embrace a symbiotic relationship. I can get behind that. Whatever an arcana is. I mean, it's, isn't that who I am? Or what I am? Or is it just like the name of the body? I, I don't know. I guess this is just your body that is not you, which is 
is sort of interesting and cyberpunky for something that is otherwise disturbing. Oh, we're gonna learn how to interface with our new field agent. Alright, that's enough of that. But there's no reward. <laughs> Fine. Wanted a reward. Oh man, somebody over here is playing a dude. Actually, I'm kind of curious, like what the uh, the male-female ratio here is. Let's take a look at some different options here. Here we go in the bag. Is there? Why did it have me pick clothing? Oh, I'm I'm scared of this new way to express joy. Anyway, why did we pick clothing if we're not wearing clothing? I guess I'll learn that. <laughs> sure. Greeting. Oh, you get to sit down. That's pretty high. Oh, we got some quest data from... Wow. Okay. Oh, but it's right there! <sighs> Fine. I will say that I personally, and if this is going to get on your nerves, you might just want to stop now. I have pretty severe uh, issues with my left hand, so I tend to just go ahead and use the WSAD keys to move rather than keyboard moving because I don't trust my left hand to move between numbers. If I can just set them on the keys, it's all good. Uh, also, my right hand, thanks to my previous occupation, which I will have tried to avoid going on about, uh, but I've got pretty bad carpal tunnel, so it's usually best to just keep that to also moving as little as possible. Uh, Personally, I have been able to raid in War World of Warcraft with no problem. I developed a very good reputation as a tank on my server, so I don't want to hear it. So, WSAD keys, yep, that's all pretty standard. Uh, that particular issue of mine is also why you, why you will not see me doing Neverwinter on here, uh, because I tried playing Neverwinter and it lasted about 10 minutes until my right hand was completely pins and needles. So, let's see. Yay! Space bar to jump! That's, that is the most important command. Okay, so you can click on the name of the quest tracker to go towards the NPC or monster. That's not bad. Alright, I'm gonna accept that. It says Vera, so let's try that. Oh. Well, I was trying to move the camera around. And we'll just we'll just go over here and close the bag and hope that doesn't interfere with too much. I still have no idea why I have a skull over my head. Am I am I threatening or am I dying? There. Actually, before we move on to another quest, let's take a look here at the social tab. see where I'm supposed to do these emotes. Oh uh, well, I guess... Oh, shop. Shop. I know, I can't fault the free-to-play games 
for wanting you to actually like support the maintenance of their servers and paying their people for upgrading and all that. Uh, no, you know, I'm just gonna remind you. Shop. Anything else exciting over here? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Gear changed. Laundry changed. I'm not. I'm not seeing a change. Basic lingerie must be removed with the lingerie unsealer before it can be unequipped. Alright then. H how... How do they piss? Okay, sorry. I'm gonna... Just, I'm just gonna move over to our quest lady. And grope her. Happy to meet you, Arcana. Whoa! I'm Vera. Wow, that, uh... That is jigglepastic. You know, it's kind of disappointing that they don't actually give you any options for different body types other than specifically the different classes, because uh, maybe, maybe you don't like them that big. Maybe that seems kind of awkward and painful, if fun. Well, let's continue with our quest here. You know, I'm, I'm telling you, next time, next time it's going to be small ages stuff. O okay, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll heed that advice. And for somebody telling me to pay attention, she's yawning an awful lot. Again. <laughs> no reward. Just the one I'm given. Alright, little linen glasses girl, let's learn how to engage the enemy in combat. Oh, tab targeting, pretty familiar for any old WoW player. automatically pick up items for you. And admittedly, if this whole setting is some kind of lesbian utopia, I'm not gonna argue. Alright, let's see if we can eliminate a training dummy over here in our panties. Whoa, where'd that come from? So, double blow. That wasn't too bad. Something called an SP. All pretty standard MMO stuff so far. <laughs> Oh, we have to we have to earn our clothing. Happy to meet you, Arcana. <laughs> I'm Vera. Such boob. So bounce.
do I, uh, do I get, do I get clothes? Okay, thank you for warning me of totally random passerby. I'm sure that can be turned off. I don't care. Yep, exciting. Now we're going to go talk to Laura by clicking on her name over here. There we go. Maybe we don't want to go there. We're in nothing but high heels. So apart from the excessive focus on the breast physics, it seems like a pretty standard MMO so far. I'm going to cut out for a moment and come back with part two, where I'm going to take a deeper look at the actual character creation, and then maybe we'll go above ground. See you then. <laughs>